I'm in my life right now, it just feels like this world does not need me anymore. Like they are just done with me, like they are done with me. Because the situation I am in right now, the more I think about it, the more it's just so difficult to understand. Whose side is God? I like, I really don't know why I'm going through all of this. The more I think about it, the more it does even make sense to me. Because I did not do anything wrong, I've not wronged anybody. hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer um uh, so in this video i want to share this video about one of our brothers he's a nigerian and uh, apparently he, he he makes videos and he posts on facebook and uh, he was trying to get monetized you know facebook was not a monetized platform so he was trying to get monetized and a lot of there are so many stories about being monetized on facebook and it's not straightforward like youtube you know, you know they say you have to have uh, 600,000 watch time or whatever you have to have this you have to have that and all of those things are they're not that easy to achieve and then people that even achieve it is not automatic like on YouTube if you achieve all the things you are supposed to achieve boom that is it you get uh, monetized it's even YouTube that will message you and tell you that you have qualified and they will just start monetizing you no drama nothing There's, but Facebook people will still qualify they will start applying for this Facebook will review it they, they will come and say, eh, it's not yet time. And you are, give, you are qualified for all the things listed. It's like they don't even follow their own so-called requirements. After the person has met all of these requirements, they are still beating around the bush. They will say, well, they will review it again. So people that even get monetized. So people that even get monetized. They wake up one day and they say, they say their monetization is gone. Or they say they are stars. YouTube automatically, YouTube, call, YouTube calls it um, super chats. Your super chat is always there. Facebook, after the person has qualified, they will not say no, they will not, they will not give you, <laughs> they will not give you the monetization, uh, uh, whatever, whatever. It's like you would, it's hard, people don't understand it, it's like Facebook, you wake up, whatever you see, you take it like that, <laughs> let me tell you, I'm going to be honest, that like, Facebook is the place where I believe to a great extent because it started as a friend, family, a friend to friend uh, page where people are just, uh, um, like people are just, it's very casual place where it's just supposed to be friendship platform. Let's put it that way. Socializing platform. Personally, I, I, that's how I still see Facebook is the place where I go and just, when I say socialize, engage with people in a light way, and engage with people and just put out my content uh, and all of that. So it's a platform where if it's about the money, I'm telling you, you may not want to go to Facebook. Let's put it like that. But um, I want to share this. I'm sharing this boy's story. Because uh, apparently he was uh, posting his videos and they were doing well. He wasn't making any money from it, but he was enjoying it. And then he tried then to get monetized. And uh, Facebook got back to him. I, I can't remember. I think he said, he said, I think Nigeria is not a monetizable country or something like that. They are owned. We have countries that are not monetizable, right? So Nigeria is not an eligible, that's the word, el eligible country. Something like that. And he came out and he got emotional about it i'll let you guys watch his video for a second but i just wanted to say a few things he came out and he got emotional about it and he spoke about it and he talked about what he has been through in life ah god ah you can't watch that without crying you know hmm. and i reached out to him but he never i wrote to him after watching that video but uh, he never got back to me i bet you he's getting a lot of uh, uh, messages from left right and center but I, I could feel his pain i know what it is to be someone that is doing everything you can do to be a useful member of society you know contributing in a good way and at the end of the day is like the you just you just feel like there's a there are forces against you that is how he feels like you know every effort here he's not one guy sitting down lazily sitting down doing nothing this guy goes from state to state of nigeria of today that is not even safe he's going from here to there making videos and Give bring an information that some of us Nigerians don't even know about. So, I'll let you guys actually watch the video that he made and then I'll come back and say what I want to say. I am in my life right now, it just feels like this world does not need me anymore. Like they are just done with me, like they are done with me. Because the situation I am in right now, the more I think about it, the more it's just so difficult to understand. Whose side is God? I like, I really don't know why I'm going through all of this. The more I think about it, the more it does even make sense to me because I did not do anything wrong. I've not wronged anybody. Imagine among over 400 persons, I'm the only one whose salary has not been paid since April. 
we are in september now okay i've been trying to cope trying to manage that I'm still alive still i'm still positive and then i woke up in the morning the page that i've been building investing on my life on i got a notification that there is a connected entity violation from nowhere now <laughs> god how am i going to start from afresh how all these years of my life i was just if you notice eh, those of you that have been following me since i started i've not been a consistent person on social media because my coming to social media was just to contribute to society just impact people and leave you know i never actually knew that i could actually take this as a full-time career until last year ending somebody something approached me and told me that it was possible for me to actually make something from my platform and i've built an amazing platform that's what they call the monetization and i started chasing it i've chased it up to this point where i should have started making something from it and then i facebook is telling me that i am connected to an entity that has gone against their policy that this is impossible for me to make money from my platform and this is something that <laughs> like see the things i have in my life are not too many oh. this one is just even one of the problem like a few weeks ago and i really don't know how to see this because the more i think about it the more it does not even make sense to me how am i gonna start my life from the starting how i've lost my apartment i used to live in a two-bedroom flat i've lost all my properties a few weeks ago you know everybody will come to my house will chill i'll make food everybody will eat we'll plan videos with me we can just chill discuss watch movies but right now all i have right now is just my phone this microphone my camera and my laptop my salary has not been paid i've lost my apartment lost all my properties and then now this connected entity violation i'm trying to think like why why is all this happening to me the things i have in this life are not too many like they are not too many i'm trying to cope sometimes people say i don't smile but nobody knows the stress i go through every day of my life some people say i look too old that too very older than my age nobody knew how much stress i had to go through just to get to where i am in my life the things i have in my life are not too many i really don't know what decision god wants me to make from all this i really don't know because i have been trying to think about it who did i offend what did i do wrong you know i, I think my daddy died um when in 19 i was born 1997 or 2nd of june and my dad died um maybe 1998 1999 and my mom also died in the early 2000 and i'm the only child of my mom my family threw me out of the house when i was just 14 years old and ever since i was 14 years old till now that i'm 25 i've been living alone living by myself i've been working so hard right now i've just lost everything that i worked so hard to build those of you that have visited my house you know how it used to be like my house is well furnished and it's super roof flat i've lost everything a page that is going to 900 000 followers right now they are telling me that there's a violation from where where is it coming from so guys um i'm just trying to cope because i really don't even know what will happen next to be honest so people should just ignore these tears coming out from my eyes because the one that i've been crying at night soaking my pillow nobody really knows um I've, I've created a new page now so please guys um i would like you guys to follow me on that page let's see if there's something we can start again i'm just thinking about my life in general like how 
and it's not even just that one too i had a contract with the company and all of a sudden they told me that my video quality is low and the term contract has been terminated and i have to refund their money too close to a millionaire i've lost my house i have to return about a millionaire i still have other <laughs> hey god you see i can't even start mentioning all of them because like i'm not the only one on social media i'm not the only one creating content why does it have to be me there's not too many things that i have in this life why am i going through all of this why is god letting me like and i do not have control over all these things they are just coming at once it is very possible that even after making this video i'm still going to receive another news i really don't know what this life wants from me they've taken everything that could ever have in my life i've accepted it that my parents can never come back i might never have a sibling in my life again you know it's so hard some people see me get angry easily and they don't really know that life is so frustrating it's so hard to even be happy sometimes you know and this makes making friends difficult it makes getting into a relationship difficult because like i said the things i have in my life are not too many it's not too many so people are not even doing anything with their life i'm very hard working very very hard working extremely hard working so why am i facing all of this i didn't i didn't think that there'll come a point in my life where i'll have to make a video like this but i really need to because this might, this might actually be my last yeah this might be my last and if this is how god wants people to sing no problem whatever he's doing people say that his his ways are perfect i'm still curious can i actually still hold on till i see the big picture of what god is trying to do in my life <sighs> i'm just i just don't understand like everything is just somehow everything is somehow everything doesn't even make sense there's nothing i have not said to god i've cried i've begged him please god don't allow anything bad happen to me all that my mother had was me and all i ever have right now is this platform if you take it away from me take away my home my everything how do i start my life again from scratch <laughs> god it's so hard to believe you know like i even i i even i even i even told god i said see if you don't want me in this world take me you can have those words to yourself and to your children why do i have to go through all of this i'm not the only one creating violence in the society why does it have to be me why do i have to make a video like this i'm a very hard-working person like i said before i was never a full-time content creator before now i used to teach english language online to to survive and i was not doing bad you know until i discovered that wow there was actually a potential on social media i've been so innocent all these years i've not been making anything like kobo from social media and i've not made any kobo you know <laughs> god so i decided to be a full-time content creator what does this life want from me how do i start my life again we building a platform and they say that i don't have the videos are posted on my platform this one right now you're watching this platform you're watching this video from that i'm not going to post the same videos on the new ones that i'm going to create i have to create different content entirely where do i even get the budget right now to start making films i have depths that i need like why is all this happening I 
I don't know what God wants for me. <laughs> Please pray for me. The things I have in my life are not too plenty. They are trying to steal my joy. They are trying to steal everything. Every single thing. If I don't talk about this, I might just die in silence. Nobody might ever hear from me again. I'm not asking anybody for anything that. Pray for me and follow my new platform. But right now it's hard. Just in case you notice that something happens to me, I want you all to know where this is coming from. And if you notice change in behavior, I was not even always this way. See, I cannot tell how many people's life I have touched. There are a lot of things I don't post on my platform. I've paid people school fees. I'm talking of university, secondary, primary, even master's degree. I've paid people school fees, paid people out. I cannot tell many people I've sponsored to the studio. I cannot tell you just this month alone how many people's life I have touched. I don't post any of those things. I cannot tell you the hundreds of thousands that I've given out to people. Like, I'm a very generous person. I don't make trouble. Investigate my life. I don't make trouble. I don't make trouble with anybody. I live a very simple life. To those of you that have seen me, you would know I'm always on earphone all the time and I just like to mind my business, just get breakfast, lunch, dinner, plan my next move speak to my loved ones my friends and that's it i really don't know what i did to deserve all those things how do i start again creating new content getting my first 5,000 views because i know that yeah with what i have created there's no way i'll post and i'll just get hundreds of views then getting my first 10,000 20,000 50,000 views 100,000 views 1 million views probably gets to that point where like how do i start my life again what about the properties that i've lost every single thing i'm talking of <laughs> god you guys don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> like there are some things i can't even mention to you that is going on because i really don't know why god wants me to even do this who did i offend which program i've not attended which pastor have i not spoken to Please guys, pray for me. I don't know if I came to this world to just serve people and just die without satisfaction. I've been working so hard. So, so hard. Extremely diff. I've been working so hard in my life. Some of you, how did you even get to know me? It is true hard work. You know. Now, let me actually talk about let me just reflect on my life because to be honest i really don't even have anything that <laughs> right now like there's nothing so if anything happens to me what's the point of keeping it all in this video is not to discourage those of you that actually live in a good life you know <laughs> because i've been working so hard sponsored myself like i've been working extremely hard in my life like i started from the from the barest minimum you know when my family drove me out i um i start even the pure water that people walk on the street i didn't even have pure water i didn't even have rubber i had to go meet people i was like let me let me hug this for you there was nothing i did not do I feel like I'm not, I, I, it feels like this might just be the end of my life. It feels like this might just be the end of my life for me to see all of those things. Like, I'm going to lose so much. Why, why do I have to be in this position to see all of this? Like, I've done so much just to survive. At the age of 15, I was working in a hotel already as a receptionist. What did I not do? I worked as a gate man. I worked so hard. There was barely anything I got freely. Nothing. Even the scholarship I got to school, I had to pay for it. I sold every single thing in my house just for that scholarship. So people say, how ah, lucky. You're an orphan. 
you know you're, you're smart you 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 know like you, you are very hard working something like this god is supposed to just do it for you for free you're not supposed to pay for it are you sure this is not a scam it didn't come free if i didn't pay for it i would never have gone to school i sold my television every single all my electronics like every single thing all i had left in my house was just my phone yeah i went to the school discover that there are people who have never worked in their life people who have never lost anybody in their family and they got a scholarship for free and even the stipend i was getting they were not still sharing it to somebody else but yet i was still grateful i was still able to make something out of it building this career you know mentoring my mind to have done all the beautiful things that some of you have seen me do today even this thought i've been going to do you know how many lives that have been changed one woman has been able to buy a plot of land and she's building a two-bedroom flat from the money that she got from my platform next week she'll be building a borrow from it to so that guy now is setting up a primary and secondary school from the money some of the people got followership some of them got sponsorship scholarship <laughs> Like every single person whose story has touched my platform, their life changed. What is behind this mystery of my life? Why am I having to make all this video and say all of these things? It doesn't make sense to me. I've worked so hard, like I told like I've worked so hard. Extremely hard. Please guys. Follow my new platform. It really feels like this is the end of the road for me. But I'm trying to I'm trying to encourage myself. You know, I have I've been looking at everything that God has been doing. See, like I've not really had regrets in my life. Well, people grow up, they see they have I like all my life till today I don't even have one regret. Never I've never I don't even have one regret like all the decision I've ever made in my life, everything like I've never had a regret. Could this be that this is just me just being extremely weak in a situation that God already has control? But if I don't talk about this, if I really. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a lot of people. Not too many of them have to go through a situation like this. Some people's problem is, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still grateful for health, regardless. That's if I'm able to survive this, knowing that I have health is is amazing. And I'm a healthy person, you know. <laughs> I don't accept malaria and typhoid because I stress myself a lot. I don't have issues with my health. I'm grateful for that. I don't know. I just start feeling positive right now after seeing all this thing like i'm intelligent too you know i've met people who had they had parents they had support yeah they can't even speak like i do they can't even read and understand like i do smart I'm a hardworking guy mm, kind of attractive though you know I know how to explain things in a way that people can understand I mean look at my videos there's barely any video I posted that did not even get views <laughs> I'm just wondering how all the people that are benefiting from me directly if they are watching this video right now they'll just be feeling somehow like how are you going to survive since this is happening to me don't worry too much just pray for me let me survive the situation we'll all be fine there's something wrong on the spiritual realm there's something really wrong something is wrong somewhere something is really fighting me i have prayed and i've asked god please don't let anything bad happen to me the things I have in my life are not too many and um, forgive me if I've said anything wrong because it's been a frustrating month for me 
I've probably told you that you should just take my life and you know I've said a lot of things I've told God that maybe this world just exists for him and his people alone what if I'm from a lineage that God doesn't even care about or God doesn't even have any form of love for I'm just thinking is there anything that I've been doing wrong? Like, I'm just curious. Every single thing has been taken from me. <laughs> oh, God. It's so shameful that I have to make this video after everybody's life that I've touched and affected. After all of the people that I've come across in this life, it's so shameful. Extremely shameful. Hey guys, um, please um, follow my new page. I'm gonna tag it in this post. Um, those of you who wants to do adverts, this is my other page. I can still post videos there and get views. So I can still do promotions there, but I have to build a page that I should be able to make something from in the future because I'm working so hard. I'm putting so much into this. There are people who I pay salary, like you don't, you guys don't know. I mean, I have plans though. Like, I want to be Don Jazzy of content creation. Like, I want to rise a lot of content creators in Africa. I want to be that guy. The dream is big, and they know that it is big. <laughs> And one weird thing about me is I actually don't believe in all the spiritual things. I don't even believe that there's anything called enemy. You know, I'm just that guy who just living so simple. I don't suspect things. I'm just so free, you know. <laughs> right now, my eyes, you don't they open it. I'm just wondering the kind of person God wants me to be. I don't want to be that guy that will be so wicked in the future. That will be harsh or something like that. I just want to have... I just want to have a... a, a a simple life you know I just want to make money from what I do have a very beautiful lawyer woman by my side who we'll do great things together in our own little capacity have beautiful godly children eat good food and praise worship God and that's all like I'm never asking God for anything apart from all these things I'm not asking God for a car I'm not asking God for a mansion all i just want is for my daily bread to get to me that's all i've never really asked for any of those things there are people who just even have fifty thousand followers and they start feeling unfortunate that at the stage that they are they are trekking on the street there are pastors who just have like 50 members and they feel that oh they are not even supposed to i'm not a pastor but i'm just using these things as example they are politicians people that have actually yeah coming up you know and they feel like oh if i don't have a car it means I'm, then they begin to go extra length i'm a very contented person i'm close to a million followers yet like i said the things i have in my life are not too many but i don't complain i don't complain <laughs> i don't complain i just want to eat drink water listen to music watch movies make my videos you know survive so guys um if i've said anything that's would make any of you offended or irritated or just put in a situation where you don't have to like me anymore i'm so sorry this is not my fault i have no control over this because if i don't see this i don't know what to become of me <laughs> i'm laughing like this because the more i think about it the more it doesn't make sense to me 400 persons only me has not received payment how <laughs> please pray for me i'm trying to cope I'm trying to cope eh? <laughs> you know all the videos i've made all the beautiful things i've said you know since 2017 something's telling me that i can fight through this or nothing is telling me how if i ever survive this it's gonna be like a big inspiration to a lot of people out there who might be in similar situation but if I don't survive this man hmm. 
just pray for me follow my new page invite your friends to follow me too i'll have to start thinking how i want to even start creating new content like i have so many issues in my life right now to sort out i don't even know if i'm even mentally stable enough to start but i need to start because the earlier i start the better for me but then again i don't have to post old videos it has to be something entirely new so i might have to start recreating <laughs> some of my videos again oh my it's so crazy um i need actors and actresses i need somebody that will be helping me with my camera even my laptop too is even spoiled <laughs> and the kind of laptop that they use for professional editing is it's so expensive it's not even the price you're thinking of like everything is just coming at once you know <laughs> never experienced this before imagine me that used to have a two bedroom flat who comes to my house and sleep <laughs> everybody will be comfortable there'll be enough food for everybody i'll take people to boutique i won't buy them clothes you know how many things i've given to people at a very young age eh, like I've been doing so much behind the scenes, eh? <laughs> like, if I tell you things I've done, like when I was small, like you will not believe. It's not like the ones people do on social media with other people's money, and they post it. I'm talking of my own hard-earned money. I cannot tell you how many people from my own. I cannot just even tell you. <laughs> I cannot. Why is all this happening? <laughs> you guys, I have to go right now because <laughs> just follow me on my page and pray for me. Eh? If there are any of you that want to advertise your stuff, anything, just let me know. I can advertise for you, get some money from it to put my life back in place. And um, yeah, the price you have to be something very very affordable because at this point in my life right now before now i don't even really like adverts because you don't know which business you're advertising and yeah i'm always be mindful of my followers but right now i have to make the price really affordable and so as many of you that are coming to really help me to put my life back in place so guys if you love me for just any reason even if you don't really like me just for the reason of your own human i'm not asking for anything but just make me restore my dignity let me do a job for you and make money from it and put my life back in place then the only free thing i can ask you to do for me is follow me on my platform my new platform this cannot be my end but it feels like it is i'm just a human 25 i still have so many things to learn and Unfortunately, I can't see the full picture of my life, so don't judge me <laughs> for making a video like this. But I didn't even see this coming. Like, I never even believed there was anything called the enemy. If there is, what they call the enemy, I'm just beginning to believe now because the way bad news just began to hit me left and right, every single thing, like. father had to give out all my clothes my shoes everything i have to people <laughs> right now like just my phone <laughs> see guys like <laughs> god of nazareth please come and help me oh you see yeah the father to those either fathers and mothers at this stage of my life that i'm supposed to be of control like can't believe i'm making this video i'm then thinking if i want to even settle down as a man like get married how would the family of the person i want to get married perceive me if they see a video like this it just makes everything so difficult how we brands look at me how will... if i ever get to occupy any position politically I, i'm just thinking what if I never will survive till then? But God forbid, I've always prayed for a long life. <laughs> so, some of you have promised to send you to the studio. I've sent half of the money to you, and you are wondering why I've not sent the other half. This, this is why those of you working for me, your salary was due, 
and I've not been able to like I'm so sorry I'm just so frustrated in my life right now like every single thing I've been taking away from me every single thing whenever I smile I see bad things just happen I just want God to just perform a miracle if the money that is being owed if my salary that is being owed can be paid that one is a loan for is it enough for me to get my life back in place I'm telling you is entirely enough for me to get my apartment get all my properties back employ staffs get better equipment those companies complain that my quality is, is low they will see a very good quality and if you look at some more influencers and see the kind of advert they do I put in more work into my own self but I don't know the life is somehow it's possible the enemy have hid my identity in a way that the good that I'm doing nobody even sees it or maybe it's just me that I just have these eyes that I think that what I'm doing is so so good and so so wonderful whereas it's nothing in the eyes of other people <laughs> I don't know how able how I'll be able to ever live in my life after making a video like this may God forgive me if anything bad happens to me no I've not served any other God apart from, <laughs> although I've not been going to church like that. Too. That's the only I think that's the only thing that I would say I've done wrong. Yeah, but something was behind it. At least something happened, and I just felt discouraged. But could that be the reason why all this is happening? Or oh, me? I, I'm the kind of person that I'm just too lenient. I don't take certain things serious, like spiritual life or something, because I'm just. I don't know. I, I really don't even know what to say. It's possible somebody is just fighting me, envious of me, probably from family extended. I don't know. Is somebody really close. I, I don't just know. Maybe it's something I said offended certain people and they're just trying to just ruin my life. But I, I'm very polite though. You can't watch my video and see me insulting people. I'm educated even though I went through hell in my life even though I I started from the bed if I, when I started my life I was surrounded by the kinds of what I was surrounded by not even smart people all these people that are just underprivileged and unfortunate some people that their mother is late and their dad is a drunkard and irresponsible some are just caught it some are just you know this kind of people I grew up I grew up on the streets you know that stage i was kicked out of the house but i was able to rise living among this kind of people that didn't have vision i was the only guy with vision and it got me a lot of trouble because anytime i talk about it i was bullied many <laughs> why i say all this i'm saying that i struggled from the barest minimum in life like i was not sure you guys don't know it's not like other people that you see they grew up in their house with their parents they ha they, they actually grew up around people who are like them or even if they like on the street you wake up every morning you have to go <laughs> i survived though like i survived I went through hell i'm saying all this because my whole world is just crashing or i've crashed before my eyes and I don't have any other thing left so I'm, I'm willing to give up my pride for this video just pray for me maybe if a hundred persons pray like five minutes prayer like it's not a kind of thing I say to it's way with you lucky or oh, God bless your God to help you know like when you just close your eyes and say father Lord I want to pray for this young boy lucky Odo. please father Lord restore whatever it is he has lost this salary has not been paid let it be paid do a miracle in his life Lord what you deserve give it like okay yeah i think i deserve it because i'm not offended yeah you just make a five minutes prayer for me and maybe if 100 persons are praying for the same thing god will help but meanwhile i follow my page and i have to go i've been thinking too much <laughs> thinking too much oh, seriously really thinking too much just wow
I'm making this video now is that recently, so I saw a post that's going around of uh, there was a bit of a worry for him. People don't know where he is and all of that. Let me read the post exactly how I how I saw it. The platform because a bingo slay king and says anyone hear anything about this our great content creator, Lucky Udu? It's been long I heard from him. He hasn't posted nothing since this year. I already messaged him directly no reply and i missed his inspirational content anyone here who knows him well please dm me as at the time i'm making this video um i went to his platform and truly he has not posted for a while for someone that is constant enough and uh, i just wanted to make this video you know to join my voice to this voice um just to say i don't know if you know him or if you know anything about him please let us know and at the same time i wanted to use the opportunity to bring attention to his platform as well check him out on facebook i'll remember to put his link on a in the in the description box to be honest i think he should put his videos on on youtube i don't i don't think it because then i searched for him on youtube i didn't find him or else he's under a different name i couldn't find him he should come on youtube youtube is not complicated like facebook i'm telling you youtube you qualify for your views youtube is only two thousand you need only 1,000 subscribers, only 1,000 subscribers, about whatever, 20,000 view. I can't remember. I don't even know. Facebook requirement is more complicated. And there is no, all oh, this magomago of uh, Facebook is not on YouTube. You're, you qualify, you're monetized automatically. There's no going back and forth. There's no review, review, review of your page or whatever. But then when I was trying to contact him, that was what I wanted to say to him. Because he works really hard for his content. There's no reason why he shouldn't make money out of it. Time is money. This is what he's put, and it's his passion. Nothing wrong with him gaining from his passion. And uh, to see that, oh, he was almost at 1 million as at that time. As at the time he came out speaking up or crying out about what was going on, um, he was almost at a million. He was like 900 and something thousand followers on Facebook. And yet Facebook did not monetize him. And uh, as at now, he's already 1.1 million. Um, eventually, people were advising he had no choice. He had to go start again, a brand new page. And, you know, I just... I get really upset when I see someone being, when the actions of others put somebody in such a predicament. Well, I always say, well, we're all in this life for once. Let's not be the reason why that somebody goes to bed at night crying. And forget about, okay, bad people or whatever. Do you know, I'm just talking on a, on a normal ground, you know, to see this boy's frustration and the upset and to know that it's caused by a platform that does not seem to i don't know i'm just feel i just feel like they're not appreciating his content because i believe he's a massive asset to to facebook he is because don't forget the money he makes if he does make money from facebook facebook has its own cut out of it and uh, you know and he's bringing people to the platform or keeping people in, on the platform people that come and watch his video videos and you know stuff like that you know i just wanted to quickly come and make this video bring you know, can you guys, just to bring attention to his platform, bring more awareness to what he does. And then I want to say any of you that have any skills or whatever, you know how he can be advised to sort out his problems on their Facebook. Please uh, join in and uh, see what way uh, we can help this, bro this, uh, this boy. From what he has explained, he has been through a lot. He has no father, no mother. And I think he said he's an only child. Uh, please reach out to him in every capacity that you know you can. And uh, let's help our brother. Um, I think I'll leave this video here. As always, whatever your opinions are about this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.